So I actually make a full-time income as a guitar player, as a musician. So that's what I want to talk about today because there's probably going to be a lot of people watching this video who are guitar players, drummers, bass players, singers, musicians in general, who obviously are very passionate about that and would love to turn it into a career like I have. But I want to say right from the start that this isn't me bragging. This is not me saying, look at me, look how cool I am. None of that. It's literally me saying, I make a full-time income with my hobby, which is guitar playing and music, and it's very achievable for anybody else out there because we don't really get told these days that it is possible. We usually just get force-fed, go and get a job, go and get a nine to five, go and do anything other than what you actually enjoy doing. And that's no way to live a life in my opinion. So if you've got a hobby, in this case music, then you know you can make a full-time income doing it. So that's what I'm gonna go through. But I've literally made a video like this a couple of years ago. Actually, in 2020, I made this video um, talking about some of the things that I'm gonna to mention today. So this is kind of like an update to the video I made a few years ago. So I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm gonna get straight into it. So first, I'm gonna talk about the things that I mentioned in my last video, which I still do. And I do wanna say also that I don't just do one thing. I do many things which kind of add up to the full-time income. So it's not just like, I do this and that's everything. It's like, I do this, 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 this and this. So that's kind of what we're gonna go through today. So starting with the obvious, the things I mentioned before, I play gigs. I'm a gigging musician. I do this quite a lot. This is the bulk of my income, I won't lie. So I play for a function band. I'm with a function band agency and then I get sent out to go and play weddings, parties, corporate events, anything like that. I've been doing it now for about eight years and it's still great fun, I still really enjoy it. And you know what? It pays the bills. So it basically just entails learning lots of cover songs, usually pop, rock, generic, kind of crowd pleasy sort of stuff. And then with our agency, they kind of get all of our bookings and everything like that. We just get told where to turn up and play. And then, you know, go and play the gigs and get paid. So that's the first one. Now, the obvious question is, how do I get involved in being in a function band or a wedding band or anything like that? There's numerous different ways. So the first thing, like I mentioned, is I'm with an agency that kind of puts together function bands. There will be agencies that set up bands all over the country. I'm in Manchester in the UK, so I'm in a Manchester band, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm always gonna play gigs in Manchester. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Usually I play gigs quite far outside of Manchester, so, you have to be willing to travel. That's another thing I wanna say right now is that if you wanna be a gigging musician, driving is pretty essential. Not absolutely essential, but it will get you way more gigs and way more opportunities if you drive. How to get involved in a function band agency? Just simply Google function band agencies and honestly, so many will come up on uh, Google. There's loads of different options these days. And just try and email and contact as many as possible. Say, I'm a bass player, I'm a guitar player, I'm a drummer, I'm a singer, I'm looking to do some gigs. Is there anything that you can, uh, you can supply me with or anything like that or any other people you can speak to? That's one way of doing it and surely you will get something back from that. You might even kind of get an audition, which is what I did years ago. I kind of uh, went for an audition, played a couple songs and then got offered a spot in an actual band. That's how I got started. The next option is if you actually know other people who are in bands themselves, like I know a lot of musicians just by doing this. So because I've been doing this for so long now and I kind of met a lot of people because you know, if my band needs a new bass player or a fill-in bass player or something like that, I need to know some other people that can come in and step in and do the job. And if I can't do a gig, I need to know other guitar players that can step in and do my job for me as well. So doing this, you meet a lot of musicians and things like that, which also will then get me more business. If another guitar player can't do their gig, they will contact me and say, can I do their gig, etc. So it's a really good way of kind of earning money. And yeah, it's just getting your foot in the door is the hardest part, but once you're in, you make a pretty good income doing that. Number two is something I mentioned before as well. I teach guitar lessons. So when I'm not gigging at the weekend, during the week, I'm teaching guitar lessons. I've got about 30 in-person students a week at the moment. So I go to my office and I've got 30 students that come to me weekly and I teach them their guitar lessons. But I've also started to branch out and do online lessons at the moment. So if anybody's interested, let me know. But yeah, online teaching is something I'm kind of getting into at the moment. I'm kind of building that up on the side. So how do you get involved in teaching? Or how did I get involved? Well, years ago, a friend of mine who was already teaching asked me if I wanted to teach some of his lessons or have some students of my own. So I kind of got started that way. And then word of mouth, things like that. But you can also advertise these days on you know, Google. You can pay for Google ads. If you don't want to pay, then you can just literally just try and use social media and things like that to try and build a little bit of an audience. I'm going to talk about more things to do with that in a little while, but yeah, teaching guitar lessons, 
you know, could be singing lessons, it could be bass lessons, drum lessons, whatever it is. If you've got a skill as a musician, you can teach that to other people as well. And obviously you can charge for that. And the last thing I talked about in my video last time in 2020 was something that was pretty new to me at the time, but it's something that I've been doing since. And that is, YouTube, making videos, making content online and finally getting paid for it. You know, you can monetize pretty much any social media platform these days. If you can get an audience, post content, post videos, especially about stuff that you're interested in as well. Like obviously make covers, make lessons, make just funny, entertaining videos, whatever it is. You know, you can monetize that stuff pretty easily these days. Obviously on certain platforms, it takes a little bit of effort at first to try and build up a little bit of a following. On YouTube, you need 4,000 hours of watch time in the past year i think as well as a thousand subscribers it sounds like a lot but it's not really that much but when you hit that then you can monetize your videos and how much money do you earn it really depends how much content you put out there it really depends how many views your video gets all that sort of stuff so last time when i made my video i think i was earning roughly around about 30 pounds or 30 dollars every month or every couple of months which might not sound like a lot that's what i said in my last video this was very new to me at the time and since then, it's something that I've been kind of still doing on the side, you know, obviously making YouTube videos. This isn't a full-time thing. This is just something I do for fun, but I also do earn a little bit of money from it as well. And other things that I'm going to talk about in a little while. So I've got my analytics up here. You can see in the last 28 days, uh, I've earned $190 on my YouTube channel. It fluctuates month to month is different. So, you know, certain months I earn more, certain months I earn less, but you know, that's what I've earned this month, $190. So in my last video where I said I earn $30 a month or whatever, now I'm earning 190. And this, I'm gonna be honest, is still with me barely trying. It's not that I'm not trying, I'm just not doing this as much as I potentially could. I could post way more videos which is something I want to do more of in future anyway. But obviously you can see the more you post, the more views you get, the more money you're going to earn. So yeah, YouTube is a really, really great one. And the best thing about this is that I love doing this. I love making these videos. I love posting them. So to earn money from doing this, from something I really, really enjoy is a no brainer for me. So yeah, um, as you can see, you know, 190, let's call it $200 a month. This is a pretty good month, but you know, that is about $1,500 to $2,000 a year, maybe even pounds, I don't know. The, you know, roughly two grand a year just from doing YouTube. You can't really argue with that. So that's something that I've still got going on. It was pretty new to me back then. I'm still doing it now, still enjoying it and everything like that. So to recap so far, playing gigs, teaching and YouTube. So as I mentioned, I earn money from YouTube. This is from what's called ad revenue. So when you watch my videos, if there's adverts or anything like that, I get paid for those adverts being on my videos and that is the share that I get. But there are actually other ways to monetize your YouTube channel, um, which is basically if I've got a bit of an audience, which I do, you know, you can see here, I've got nearly 17,000 subscribers at the time of filming this video. There's certain companies that will watch my videos and kind of ask me to either endorse their products or sometimes they'll pay me to do a sponsored video and things like that. So I can earn money other than the ad revenue by just making content. If you know a company has reached out to me and said, can we send you something to review and demo? Or you know, if we pay you, can you talk about this? Something like that. Or another thing that happens is from those products that let's just say I get sent a pedal. I get sent quite a few things sometimes. I might demo the pedal, I might make a video about it, and then I might get given a link by that company so that people can buy that pedal or product or whatever it is from me directly. And if they buy it through my link, I get a commission. So every so often I generate income just by someone clicking a link and buying something because they clicked the link from my video. So following on from this, I've talked about YouTube, but there is actually another social media platform that I've been using quite a lot in the last 12 months, maybe a little bit more, and that is TikTok. So I started posting content on TikTok, which is why if you look at my channel this year, my YouTube videos that I've put out this year is a lot less than say previous years because I've actually been focusing more on TikTok this year. And I have built that up to be able to be monetized on TikTok. So when I post TikTok videos, I actually get paid for those as well because you need to have at least 10,000 followers on TikTok and I think about 100,000 views in the last month. And again, that sounds like a lot, but if you're posting content and if you're posting good content as well, it's really not that hard to build those statistics. So I hit 10,000 followers, I got 100,000 views on my TikTok page, and then, you know, I, I now get paid for my TikTok videos that I post. The videos that you get paid for have to be over a minute long, and I think that's about it. But that's not everything. As well as actually getting paid for the videos that I post on TikTok, I also do live streams quite a lot. This is something I started about a year ago and I love it now. I still do it whenever I get the chance. I will just go live on TikTok 
and it's me sat here with my guitar, playing tunes, talking to people, teaching things, playing requests, playing songs, anything like that. And if people are enjoying it, what happens quite a lot on TikTok is people send gifts. They are basically like little emoji kind of things that have real monetary value. Anything from like one pence up to quite a lot, you know, depending on the gift. And you know, and if people really appreciate what you're doing, sometimes you get sent some quite big gifts and it's basically like the, the digital version of busking in the street and having a, a little hat or a guitar case on the floor and people throwing in a little bit of money here and there. It's tips at the end of the day, uh, but those add up. And to sort of put things into perspective, I don't really have a huge following on TikTok. I've got about nearly 17,000 followers, which is similar to my YouTube channel at the moment. Um, and I go live when I can. And I, I think in the last year I've earned about over a thousand pounds just from the gifts alone. To me, that's quite a lot. You know, it's a good side income as well as all the gigging, the teaching and everything like that. The money I earn from YouTube with the TikTok sort of gifts too. Um, I think from the actual content I post on TikTok, the videos, I probably earn to this day roughly about two to 300 pounds by doing that, which might not sound like a lot, but it adds up. It's something on the side, isn't it? So that's clearly not the main way of earning money on TikTok. It is more the live streams and the interactions. But another good thing about YouTube and TikTok and all these social media platforms is the more that you kind of post on there and the more that you build an audience on those platforms, you're actually building an audience that might want to sort of get other things from you in future. Like I mentioned about my online teaching, that's something that I'm building at the moment. I'm getting my student inquiries for my online lessons through TikTok, through YouTube and things like that. Mainly TikTok because I can talk to people literally one-on-one. -on -one live when i'm live streaming and someone messages me saying do you do lessons yes i do send me a message everything like that it's literally real time i'm talking to that person and they can see and ask me questions whilst i'm sat here playing the guitar so that kind of leads to more exposure and more people actually wanting lessons from me and booking in and stuff like that so TikTok, yes you get paid from doing the live streams and get paid from posting the videos but you could also then use that audience for other things too a little bit of effort in all of these different areas can earn a pretty good income obviously i'm not going to explain and kind of go through how much i actually earn if you want some rough figures for doing a function gig i can expect to be paid no less than 200 pounds per gig and that is just for me so, and that is like the bottom, like amount that I might get paid, 200 pounds onwards. For an, a lesson, if I'm teaching a lesson, I charge about 30 pounds for an online lesson. My in-person lessons that I teach at, with a school are about 40 pound an hour. Um, so you can kind of get some rough figures of, of what you could kind of do to earn whatever you need to earn to live happily. And with all my social media platforms, if I kind of take all of that and combine it, I'm looking at somewhere between two, three, and four thousand dollars slash pounds a year just from all of those. So that right there is how I earn a full-time income as a guitar player, as a musician. There's probably other things that I can do. There's probably other things that I do do that I can't think of at this moment in time, but that's pretty much it. And like I said, right at the start, this isn't me going, look at me, look at how much money I make. None of that, it's me going, if I can do this, if I'm just a regular guy, I play guitar and I can actually monetize my passion, my hobby and live quite happily just by playing my guitar, then other people can do this too. So if you're a guitar player or a musician and you want to turn your passion into, you know, a good financial career where you don't have to have another job on the side, like, I don't know, working in a shop or something like that, if you don't want to do any of that, it does take a little bit of effort, as you can imagine, obviously trying to build up a social media platform getting a camera and setting it up and then learning how to do all of this stuff, lighting, all that sort of stuff. It is a bit of a learning curve at first, but put yourself out there, it's well, well worth it. So that's basically what I wanted to talk about. It's like a, a not a catch up, a follow up to what I made in 2020. So I hope this video has helped anybody or at least given some people some ideas or some inspiration at, at least. If you've got any questions or anything like that, just put them in the comments below. If you want me to make more videos where I talk about this kind of thing, let me know as well. But yeah, if I could help anybody out, that's great. I hope you've enjoyed this video for what it's worth. Please leave me a comment anyway because it helps my videos with the algorithm. Make sure you leave it a like and all that good stuff. If you've not yet subscribed, please do because I'm trying to build my subscribers as well. But I make lots of guitar and music related content kind of like this. So if you enjoyed this, check out my other videos and hopefully I'll see you in a future one. So take care.